Welcome to Turbo Chef. I'm Chef Doug, and today we're looking at the startup of the new Eco Panini ST oven. When you receive your oven, as always, inside the box you will find your paddle, your cleaning instructions, warranty activation sheet, and a bottle of guard and a bottle of cleaner. In order to prepare your oven to start cooking, first we need to guard the oven. You need to open the door of your oven and close the panini press. And then once the panini press is closed, we can then start removing the cassette. The cassette will come out as one piece. And in order to do that, we need to undo the thumb screw at the front. Once we've undone the thumb screw at the front all the way, put it aside, we can then lift the cassette unit out as one piece. Once the cassette unit is then removed, we can then start taking out the bottom impingement plate. Again, there's another thumb screw just here, and we remove the thumb screw, and the unit will come out as one piece. The diffuser is already at the back. We can only take it out one way. We can only put it back in one way. Now that your cassette and your bottom jet plate have been removed from the oven, you can now start applying the guard to the oven. This will form a protective barrier on all of the metal surfaces. In order to do this, we spray guard directly onto a cloth and then wipe all of the metallic surfaces inside of the oven with the Turbo Chef guard. As the guard heats up when you're turning the oven on, it heats up and then forms a protective barrier between the metal and the food that will splash onto it. So make sure you wipe guard onto all the surfaces, including the top of the oven, and also onto the bottom jet plate as well. Always make sure that you are applying the guard to a cloth. Do not spray chemical directly inside of the oven. Now that we've guarded the oven and put the bottom impingement plate back in, it's time to reinsert the press cassette. In order to do this, simply light it in over the top of the lug here and slide it back into place onto the pin mechanism that opens and closes the press. Once this is then back in place, we simply do our screw back up. Now that this is all back in place, we're ready to open our press mechanism again, close the door, and we're ready to turn our oven on. 